Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. This time I'm going to show you how to take down the game's first boss, Ogdo Bogdo. If you are a fan of the Souls series, then you are used to getting a uh, first boss that is kind of optional. In Demon Souls, it was Vanguard. In Dark Souls, it was the Asylum Demon. Although the Asylum Demon wasn't exactly optional, but you can kill him in a certain way to get a better reward if you uh, did it the first time you encountered him. Agda Bagdo is sort of similar in that it's a very strong boss very early in the game that you're probably not meant to fight right away. But the way this boss works is he has a number of attacks. A few of them lunge at you like you just saw there. His data entry says that you can cut off his tongue, but I was never able to do it. Um, but in any event, you can parry everything except for the attacks where he glows red. Those ones you do have to dodge. And don't be afraid to slow him down. Um, when he chomps at you once, he will generally follow that up with a second chomp, but you can parry that, just like you saw there. You do want to back up for his big stomps, and then just dodge to the left or to the right when he's putting out his tongue. That big lunge right there, that can basically one-shot you. I am playing on Jedi Master on this playthrough, so we parry that first lunge. Uh, if you parry the first lunge, he, he won't follow up with the second one. Uh, but if you only block it, then be prepared to block twice. So there's one, two. There you go. So he does two on, on a short lunge. Right, so we're going to dodge over again. We're going to parry that attack. We put in some work. And you'll notice I'm doing this extremely early. And I, I'm doing this before you even get the healing stim. So you can do it whenever you want. All right. So we're going to kill him right here. And then we are going to get a, uh, a force echo. Uh, which is basically his data entry. And that Force Echo will also give us one life essence. And there is also a chest in this room that we cannot open yet. What you need to do is you need to first adventure to the planet Zepho and then find the Slice Tool. I'll have a guide for that as well. But once you get the Slice Tool, which is an upgrade for BD-1, you can come back here and slice open the lock on this chest. And then once you do, you are able to claim its reward, which is a pink poncho. I wish it was a better reward. I was hoping it was a different colored lightsaber crystal, but it's just a poncho. So, what are you going to do? All right, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new videos go live. If you like this content a whole lot, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.